These Wolverine claws are made out of 3D printed metal. When I was growing up, my absolute favorite superhero of all time was Wolverine. I just thought he was awesome, and come on, who wouldn't want claws like that? Over time, I felt that he just kept getting even more amazing, and this inspired me to try and design my very own 3D printable Wolverine claws. But I wanted to design something that could both extend and collapse that didn't have any complex mechanical parts or include any wiring or electrical components. One of the coolest things that I think you can 3D print are those collapsing swords. You might have seen some online, they're really cool, so that inspired me to design my own collapsing wolverine claws. And I know it depends on what material you print these out of, but one of the biggest issues I have with these collapsing prints is the durability. The big issue with using FDM printing for printing something like this is that there's most likely going to be some pretty big weaknesses in between the layer lines. I knew that if I wanted to make claws that could both extend, collapse, and be durable, I knew that I would need some help. And that is where the company PCBWay came to help, and they're actually the sponsor of this video. I was able to send my design over to PCBWay, and they were able to send over both an aluminum and a nylon version of my claws. The aluminum claws were made with SLM printing, or select laser melting, where the machine will melt metal powders layer by layer to create fully dense metal parts. And the nylon claws were made with SLS printing, or select laser sintering, where the machine will center powdered materials like nylon to actually form the print. At this point, you might be wondering why I didn't send over a design that's a little more similar to the claws that Wolverine has in the movies. And the first big reason is that it would be considered a weapon. And PCBWay does not allow the printing of weapons using their services. This is just supposed to be a fun little cosplay prop. And another big reason is that I'm clumsy and I really don't want to hurt myself or anything else. And the last reason is their printing is limited to fairly small parts and anything that was bigger or had more material really wouldn't have been feasible because of the cost. For me, this is really the best of all worlds because you get the look and feel of Wolverine claws without the danger of being clumsy with sharp items. And now that I have three different versions of my collapsing claws, there's really only one thing left to do, and that's to break a bunch of stuff so that we can test the durability of each one. But before we break stuff, I'll need to look the part. Let's break some stuff. But before I break anything, I want to talk a little bit about PCBWay and how they can help you with your project. And like I mentioned before, PCBWay is the sponsor of this video, and even though they're best known for their high quality PCB prototyping and assembly, they actually do a lot more. They offer 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. With all these services in one place, it makes it really easy to bring any of your ideas to life. One of the coolest things to me about PCBWay is they're actually really supportive of the maker community. I've seen them host design contests and sponsor a lot of projects like this one and it's such a cool way to help people take their ideas from just a thought to something actually real. If you've got a project in mind or something you've been wanting to create, I definitely recommend checking them out at PCBWay.com. I've laid out some household items that I plan on breaking with each of the claws to test their durability and is this an excuse just to break stuff? Maybe. Am I breaking stuff like bricks or metal? No, because I do not want to break the claws that PCBWay worked so hard to create. And a gold star to whoever can guess which claws break first and on which item in the comments. And there might be a little surprise at the end. So I thought I'd start with some aluminum foil because I thought it'd be a pretty easy start for each claw and I was hoping it would look kind of cool. And the PLA claws sliced through just fine. The nylon also didn't have any issues. And thank goodness neither did the metal claws. That would have been a pretty sad durability test. Alright, looks like all three move on to the balloon. I don't know if you know this, but it's actually very hard to tie a balloon with gloves on. After blowing up all the balloons and testing all three claws, each of them made it through just fine. Really, this was just an excuse to blow up some balloons. All right, now we're gonna move on to something a little harder, which is styrofoam, and each of the claws sliced through it just fine, and I gotta say, it was actually pretty satisfying to break. 
Next up, we have some wooden dowels we're gonna break through. These are definitely harder than the styrofoam, so I'm curious to see if all three of them can make it through this one. And after using the PLA and slicing through the first dowel, it ended up just snapping the claws after the first dowel. So I guess that's it for the PLA. Next up was the nylon, and even though I was a little worried about it, it did survive the dowel test. Next up was the metal, and it kind of went how you'd expect, and it kind of sliced through like butter. Well, it looks like the PLA claws didn't make it but we still have two other claws so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rip some plastic bags because this will add some strain to the ripping instead of just being all impact first up is nylon and it ripped through just fine next was the metal and it ended up doing just fine as well and just for fun, I ended up attacking some cardboard with each of the claws to add some strain and impact to the durability testing, and each of the claws survived that just fine as well. But there's one more durability test I want to put the metal claws through, and that happens to be through my Deadpool helmet. I hit the Deadpool helmet with the metal claws three different times, and just like the Deadpool helmet, the metal claws survived it and didn't break. I want to give another big shout out to PCB Wave for making this project a reality, and I'd love to hear in the comments what kind of projects you would make with this type of 3D printing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.